After opening sentences, we begin morning prayer with the confession on page 79. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. Thus says the high and lofty one who inhabits eternity, whose name is holy. I dwell in the high and holy place and also with the one who has a contrite and humble spirit to revive the spirit of the humble and to revive the heart of the contrite. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful, Most merciful, Most merciful God, 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 we confess <laughs> that we have sinned against you and the whole indeed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. 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 Lord, open our lips and, and our mouth to proclaim, proclaim your praise. praise. Hey, would you be so kind as to read the Venetia on page 82? Come, let us think. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. <laughs> the sea is his, for he made it and his hands have molded the dry land. Come. Let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord, our maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. Our appointed psalm for today is number 40, found on page 640, and then number 54. We'll skip over. So starting with Psalm 40 on page 640. I waited patiently upon the Lord. He stood to me and heard my cry. He lifted me out of the desolate pit, out of the mire and clay. He set my feet upon the high cliff and made my foot in shore. He put a new song in my mouth, a song of praise to our God. Many, Many shall see and stand in awe and put their trust in the Lord. Happy are they who trust in the Lord. They do, do not resort to evil spirits or turn to false gods. Great things are they that you have done, O Lord my God. How great your wonders and your plans for us. There is none who can compare with you. Oh, that I could make them known and tell them. But they are more than I can count. In sacrifice and offering, you take no pleasure. You have given me years to hear Burnt offerings and sin offering, you have not required. And so I said, Behold, I come. In the roll of the book, it is written concerning me. I love to do your will, O oh my God. Your law is deep in my heart. I proclaimed righteousness in the great congregation. Behold, I did not restrain my lips, and that I will not do. Your righteousness have I not hidden in my heart. I have spoken of your faithfulness and your deliverance. I have not concealed your love to the faithfulness of your you are the Lord. Do not withhold your compassion from me. Let your love and faithfulness keep you safe. 
for innumerable troubles have crowded upon me. My sins have overtaken me, and I cannot see. There are more in number than the prayers of my heart, and my heart bears against me. Be pleased, O Lord, to deliver me. O oh, Lord, oh, Lord, make haste to help me. Let them be ashamed and altogether dismayed who seek after my life to destroy it. Let them go out and be displaced. Take pleasure in my misfortune. Let those who say, aha, and gloat over me be confounded. Because they are ashamed. 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 Let all who seek you rejoice in you and be glad. Though I am poor and afflicted, the Lord will have the God of our glory. You are my helper and my deliverer. Do not tarry in the God, oh my God. Uh, Psalm 54, turning over to page 659. We continue. Save me, O God, by your name. Hear my, my Hear my prayer, O God. For the arrogant have risen up against me. And the ruthless have sought my life. Those who have no God. Behold, God is my helper. It is, it is the Lord who sustains my life. Render evil to those who spy on me. And your faithfulness destroy them. I will offer you a free will sacrifice. And we praise your name, O Lord, for it is good. For you have rescued me from every trouble. And my eyes have seen the feeling of my friends. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Our readings. Our, um, yeah. I invite you to mute until after the Apostles' Creed. The first reading is from Acts. <clears throat> the whole assembly kept silence and listened to Barnabas and Paul as they told of all the signs and wonders that God had done through them among the Gentiles. After they finished speaking, James replied, my brothers, listen to me. Simeon has related how God first looked favorably upon the Gentiles to take from among them a people for his name. This agrees with the words of the prophets, as it is written, After this I will return, and I will rebuild the dwelling of David, which has fallen. From its ruins I will rebuild it, and I will set it up, so that all other peoples may seek the Lord, even all Gentiles who over whom my name has been called. Thus says the Lord who has been making these things known from long ago. Therefore, I have reached the decision that we should not trouble these Gentiles who are turning to God, but we should write to them to abstain only from things polluted by idols and from fornication and from whatever has been strangled and from blood. For in every city for generations past, Moses had had those who proclaim him, for he has read aloud every Sabbath in the synagogues. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Our second reading is from John. Now Jesus had not yet come to the village, but was still at the place where Martha had met him. The Jews who were with her in the house, consoling her, saw Mary get up and quickly go out. They followed her because they thought that she was going to the tomb to weep there. When Mary came to where Jesus was and saw him, she knelt at his feet and said to him, Lord, if you had been there, my brother would not have died. When Jesus saw her weeping and the Jews who came were also weeping, he was greatly disturbed in spirit and deeply moved. He said, where have you laid him? They said to him, Lord, come and see. Jesus began to weep. So the Jews said, see how he loved him? But some of them said, could not he have opened, he who have, had opened the eyes of the blind man have kept this man from dying? Then Jesus, again greatly disturbed, came to the tomb. It was a cave and a stone was laying against it. Jesus said, take away the stone. Martha, the sister of the dead man, said to him, Lord, already there is a stench because he has been dead for four days. Jesus said to her, did I not tell you that if you believed, you would see the glory of God? So they took away the stone and Jesus looked upwards and said, Father, I thank you for having heard me. I knew that you always hear me, but I have said this for the sake of the crowd standing here so that they may believe that you sent me. When he had said this, he cried out with a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. The dead man came out, his hands and feet bound with strips of cloth and his face wrapped in cloth. Jesus said to them, unbind him and let him go. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us affirm our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed, found on page 96. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with, and also with you. With you. Let us pray in the words that Christ taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy kingdom come, 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 thy Suffrages be on page 98. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day, we bless you. We praise you forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy, have mercy on us, Lord, Lord, have, Lord have, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy. For we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope. And, and we shall, shall never, never hope in you. We have a um, special litany as our prayers of the people today that Aaron's going to put up. And I invite you to read the responses in red. With all our heart and all our mind, we pray to you, O Lord. Make, Make us instruments, instruments of your peace. For the peace of the world, that a spirit of respect and forbearance may grow among nations and peoples, we pray to you, O Lord. For our enemies and those who wish us harm, especially those who have led to the acts of terror, 
that in the aftermath of the destruction of New York, Pennsylvania, and Washington on September 11th, 2001, we may grow ever more deeply in your spirit of justice and peace. We pray to you, O oh Lord. We're there in this and For all who believe in you, Lord Christ, and whose faith is known to you alone, that they may be delivered from the darkness and fanaticism that arises from poverty and oppression, and from the pride that arises from wealth and comfort and brought into your light so that divisions that foster violence may cease. We pray to you, O Lord. For there is a Lord with us in the union. For those who have lost their faith in the Lord God, for those who continue to mourn, for those who died in the World Trade Center, the airplanes, and the Pentagon, may your church give comfort and hope in this time of remembrance we pray to you, O oh Lord. For, there there is that, let us so say. For all those whose spirit has been broken and whose lives have been irrevocably disrupted by the violence of that day and its aftermath, we offer our prayers along with the persecuted, the lonely, the sick, who have bid our prayers today, that they may be relieved and protected. I invite your prayers as you honor those who died that day or any others you would like to mention regarding 9-11. I especially ask your prayers and remembrances for all the air crews. Father Michael judged the chaplain to the fire department For all those who have become sick as a result of helping with the World Trade Center. We pray to you, Lord. Where there, there is, is despair, despair, let, let us, us sow hope. For the mission and ministry of the Episcopal Church, especially the Diocese of New York and East Carolina and all others represented here, that we may listen to the gospel of reconciliation and proclaim the word and action for the building of your reign here on earth. We pray to you, O Lord. Where there, there, there is your heart, let us so light. For all who have died in the terror of September 11th, and for those others whom we remember today, for those who believed in your resurrection and those who knew not your promise of eternal life, entrust that they have been found by you and are at rest in your holy habitation. We pray we to pray you, me. O Lord. Where there is there sadness, sadness, let us so strong. We pray for the concerns of our own parish, and I invite your prayers. And the others that listed aloud just in our daily list. And I have on our list today, Anne, Bob, Delilah, Jocelyn, Sarah, Fred, Norman, Don, Kay, Nayeli, and Fiona. Are there others you wish to mention this morning? Sally. Ed, Keith, Keith, Francis Hagen, J. Michael, Forrest, Aline, Sally, Lee, Kathy, Kel, Francis, Harry, Wright and Eileen, Carl, Francis, Celeste, Joan. Are there others? And we pray for the forgiveness of our sins. 
Grant that we may not so much seek the soul as to the soul, to be understood, to understand, to be loved as to love. Take part in Christ. We have been reconciled to God. And that is something for which to be thankful for. Are there other thanksgivings this morning? For the volunteers that helped with relief at St. Paul's Chapel in New York after 9-11. Mm -hmm. Thank you for that song, Cheryl. It was really restorative. Let there be peace on earth. It really touched me. Yes. Bill Bivens gets credit for that one this morning. I'll end with our collect, a special collect for today, and then we'll have a piece of music. Um, Pierce, do you want to say anything about it, or would you like me to? This is... We'll go ahead and say something about Cheryl. It's... Um... Uh, well, Pierce gave me this book, actually. It's called A Year of Wonder, and it's a classical piece of music for every day. But on today, um, September 11th, it's called um, In Paradisum from the Trinity Requiem by Robert Moran. And he wrote this on the 10th anniversary uh, because the chapel at St. Paul's at Trinity Wall Street that sits right across from the World Trade Center, it became that um, just um, that hub and a haven for a lot of people where they all the emergency workers came in and out of there. They provided food and the firefighters were in and out of there and for weeks and months afterwards. And so in remembrance, um, he wrote this for their youth, the youth choristers. And I wish we had a picture of them, but this was the best recording that I found of it. And it's in Paradisum from Trinity Requiem. And I have, I have the college. I mean, O oh, Almighty God, who brings good out of evil and turns even the wrath of your children towards your promised peace, hear our prayers this day as we remember those of many nations and differing faiths whose lives were cut short by the fierce flames of anger and hatred. Hasten the time when the menace of war shall be removed. Cleanse both <laughs> us and those perceived to be our enemies of all hatred and distrust. Pour out the spirit of peace on all the rulers of our world that we may be brought through strife to the lasting peace of the kingdom of your son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Now, Cheryl's the new
holy and sovereign Lord, when the earth and all its people quake, you hold its pillars firm. What is uncertain and frightening to us is completely known to you and controlled by you. Look mercifully on the people of St. James and all other parishes represented here. Although at this time we are apart from each other, we pray your Holy Spirit will unite us as one. Pour upon us your peace, which passes all understanding. Keep us safe and healthy, and above all, keep us mindful of those to whom we should show the love and compassion of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. If there is anyone who would like to stay around, and Aaron, if you need to go, you can make me the host. If there's anybody that would like to stay around for a few moments to share your experiences for 9-11 or make any other tributes, we can stop the recording and have some time here. But I'll leave that up to you. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be, Thanks be to God. God. Thanks Hallelujah. be to God. Amen. Thank you. Thanks for coming and have a great day if you're signing off.